Hi everyone, my name is Alejandra. Today I'm going to show you two very cool formulas to use in Google Sheets, Split and Flatten. I hope you like them. So, let's get started. Here we have our Google Sheet. I'm going to start by showing you a list of items connected by a comma. This is a group category for wages, overtime, benefits, etc. And here we have different accounts, like salaries, hourly, overtime salary, overtime hourly, benefits, etc. So all of these items are connected by a comma. I'm going to use the uh, formula split equals split. I press tab so I can bring the formula on. And I say, okay, my text is in cell C1, comma. My delimiter is the comma because each item is divided by that uh, delimiter. And that's all that I need to enter in this case. And I press enter. As you can see, all the elements have been allocated to a specific column per item. I can do the same for the next list and I say equals split. My text is V2. My delimiter is the comma. Enter. Close parenthesis. Enter. So I have both lists and each item has one column. This is very cool. Something that we can do here is also, let's say, if I want to add text to each individual item, I can, let's say, for example, I want to add the department in front of each category. So what I can do, I can bring together the array formula. Formula, parentheses, and then I can say that I want to include sales in column A4, concatenate with, let's say, let's put a delimiter there, and we are going to say that we want the dash and then a space, and we are going to concatenate that with each individual item. So I close parentheses for my array formula and enter. Now you can see that each item has sales, space, dash, space, the category that it refers each column. Let's bring this information in a column. So now I have all these items horizontally, but I want them just to be listed. So what I can do, I can use the flatten formula, equals flatten, open parenthesis. My range, my first range starts in B4, and I can do two things here. I can end it in K4, but if I do this, then any item that I add to the original list won't be included in the flatten formula. What I can do to include the whole row, so any times that we add an item to the, to the original list, the flatten formula will capture it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say, bring the information from before and keep bringing that information for the whole row four. Close parenthesis and enter. So now, if I go to my, my original list, my original items, and I add comma, new, enter, you can see that the split formula brought the new item in column L, and my flatten formula added the new item as well. So I can do the same with the other list that we have in here, and say equals flatten, open parenthesis. My range starts in D5 and it ends in 5. So I will include all the items in that row starting in column D. So D5 to 
all the items included in that row after that column. Close parentheses, and then I can bring that list in here. So I can also bring both lists together in one column. But in order to do this, I need to specify the range where I'm bringing those items from. I cannot keep that formula open for the whole row. I can bring both lists, but I need to specify the range of each row that I'm bringing to this list. So this is what I mean. I'm going to say equals flatten, open parentheses, and I need my first range. My first range will be from B4 to M4. And I'm bringing an extra line so you can see that the formula is working because I'm going to add an item later on. So that is my first range, comma. My second range will be from column D5 all the way until column A, B, 5. Close parentheses and press enter. And here we have both lists together in one column. So you can see that because I selected a, bl selected a blank cell, is bringing that cell as well. So if you believe you will have uh, items that you will need to be adding to the original list, I could suggest that you keep some blank cells in your flatten formula so you can always capture that. I'm going to add another item to our original list. I'm going to say comma, and I will say additional item. Enter. You can see that that new item was added to this list, the original list that we had in column B, and also it was included in the merging of two different lists. If I added one more, that item won't come through because I didn't include the items in column N row 4. So this is what I mean. Let's say uh, one more, enter. So one more was added here, was added here, but of course it wasn't added in here. That is because my formula includes only up to column M. It doesn't include column N. If I modify this as column N, then I press enter, and that's the only way that I can bring one more to the list. So these are two very cool formulas. Hope you can find a very good use for them in your day-to-day -day work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you like it, please keep the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to share with your friends or family. Uh, see you next time. Thank you again. Bye-bye.